Copo. I don't know anybody else that makes them. And in fact, as far as I know, there isn't much for a Cubac out there. I went on to Google and I see literally nothing that pops up for it. A couple sites have it in there and then when you go into there, they don't even have the ability to play it. Um, and because of that, real quick, before we play our puzzle today, I would like to show you something I've been working on. And that is the ability to play Cubac and to also solve it. And so I am working on this. I wrote it in a language called uh, Flutter. I'm just learning Flutter. And uh, apparently when I am done with this, and we're just in the very, very beginning stages, um, when I'm done with this, I will be able to deploy it to Android, iOS, web, Mac, whatever, to multiple platforms at once. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see if that actually works or not. But again, Cubox 16, I am hoping to build a solver for it because there is nothing out there for it or a way to play it online easy. Um, today's puzzle is uh, USA Today, November 2nd. And uh, again, David Copo is the only person I know that makes it. And we have a difficulty of hard. And if you don't know how to play Cubox, uh, Cubox I'm trying to say it correct. I think it's Cubox. You know how to play Cubac. Basically, we have the 16 version. You have 16 cells. You have to use the numbers 1 through 16 once. So you have one number for each cell. And then you have to add up every row to the, every row has to add up to the number to the left of it, corresponding number outside the left of it. And every column has to add up to the corresponding number above it. So it's a very fun little arithmetic game. I hope it starts catching on because I just think this game is great. I love Sudoku. Sudoku is really fun. Um, Sudoku is a pattern game. This is a pattern game, but this is a little bit more mathy uh, than that. And um, I just kind of like it. You know, addition is like the basis for everything in math. If you kind of think about it. Um, one plus one, you can just go from there on to more complicated addition, multiplication, whatever. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. What I like to do is I like to just start off with uh, getting my new updated totals. So 45 minus 13 is 32. Uh, this would be six. 19 from 31 is 12. And 10 from 39, uh, 49 is 39. This would be 16. Uh, 17 from 37 is 20. And uh, 16 from 38 is 22. And 33 minus 2 is 31. So we have our new totals here. And um, we're going to change our pen color. And the first thing we need to do is we need to look for outliers. So in QBOC, you always look for like the lower or the highs to see if they can't go anywhere. And so for instance, in this cell, this uh, column here, we know that nothing bigger than, um, well, 1 and 4 are our next smallest numbers. So nothing essentially bigger than a five can be in there. So that is a very constrained cell. I don't even think I have to. Actually, I mean, only one and five can go in there. Five, uh, four cannot go in there. So right there, we already have our first clue. It's one, five or five, one. Um, our next one would be the 16 cell and the 12 cell obviously can't have a 16 in it. Um, not that that's a big deal, but it's something. And actually, they can't have a 15 either. And they can't have a 14 either. And they maybe can't have a 13 because look at this. My If I have like a 13 here, right, uh, I could put a 1 here. That's 14. I would need a 2. I don't have it. So the smallest I have here is 5. So the biggest I can have actually is 11. So... The biggest that this row over here can be is, uh, I should have got the the paper, my, my table out of there. The biggest that row can be, oops, oh, I don't know what's going on. The biggest, ah, uh, sorry. The biggest this row can be is 11. So it must be uh, smaller or equal to 11. And then similarly with the 12, now I don't have the one so the two smallest I have, well, the smallest number I have is a four. So that would require an eight. So this is going to be very constrained, this 12. You're going to have um, four, eight, nine, three, 
four eight nine three ten two eleven one none of those are there so this is a four or an eight right so let's go through again 12 got two can't be six six can't be seven five can be four eight can't be nine three can't be ten two can't be eleven one okay now the next thing now this is going to affect our 11 here so our 11 obviously can't be 11 now because we've used that four so now our next smallest one is six so six ten which it can't be that looks like there's an issue uh oh wait yeah it could be six six one nine yeah so but if it's uh, five, it would be a problem. Yes, it, it can't. It, this, so we know that this must be one. And the reason that we know that that cell, sorry, the cell must be one. I'm going to use a nice color here. Is that if, if it was bigger than one, I'm going to make that a little thicker as we put this in here. If this cell was bigger than one, if it was five, I only have 11 left. How do I get 11? I mean, I have nothing to get 11 because one, two, three, four, five are taken. Right? So I, I literally cannot get 11. So it's only one. So that means that this is five. And if this is one from 16, I have 15. And... Six, nine, I think is my only way to get that. Seven, eight, no. Six, nine, 10, six, 11, five, 12, yeah. So this, this would be a six or a nine, nine or a six. So now we know a few of these things here. Very nice. Oh, and of course, we know this one, the 5, 7, 10. So this is 15. And um, 13, 3, 16, 22. It can't be that. So, oh, wait. I screwed that up. 4, it can't be 4, yeah. So this is 8, 14. This is 4. And I think this puzzle is pretty much done. Um, six, nine, six, 15, 21, 32. That would be 11, nine, 15, 24. So eight, we can't do that. So this is 11, six, nine, 11, 15, and 16. And that is a very straightforward Hubach 16. So very fun little game. That was quick. Um, these vary in difficulty. I've had some take me up to an hour on expert level. And I've had some that haven't taken me very long at all, like this one. Um, I usually do at least hard. Uh, I think below that, they get pretty simple. But nice little fun little puzzle. What did it take? Maybe nine minutes? Maybe a little bit less? Maybe like seven? Not too bad. That is QBOX 16. Okay, that's all I got for my YouTube people. If you are on Twitch, I am going to switch over and do a Sudoku.